first convicted in America in the mid-90s. On his return, he was prosecuted and jailed again in the UK. But years earlier, Barry Bunnell had also worked at a children's home. Boys with problems were sent to tax alleged in Whaley Bridge. But Al's living job as a residential care worker came with a flat on site. It was upstairs, it was a first floor flat. Mm. And it's where a 12 year old David Lean was taken after a youth football course in 1980. He was just, you know, he was like everything you wanted to be. He was, he was instantly, you know, my hero. Um, I would have literally done anything and did. I didn't know what a paedophile was, I didn't know what a sex offender was, I didn't really know what had happened. It's my first sexual experience. Um, but I just knew that there was a thing that two men was gay. And I, I thought that's maybe what he was and maybe I was now gay. Um, you know, what happened in those, those two evenings will never go away and it never has gone away. Three decades later, in 2013, David Lean walked into a police station and told them what had happened. Even though Barry Bunnell was a known child abuser, prosecutors decided the case wasn't in the public interest. After challenging the decision, two years later, Barry Bunnell pleaded guilty. At court, despite being told he wouldn't have to face his abuser, David was left in a waiting room with him. Sentenced to two years, Bunnell was released from prison a year later. The notion that he was working and living at a children's home it's horrific, isn't it? It is. It is. And, you know, where there was an opportunity, if there had been an opportunity, I'm absolutely convinced he would have abused children at the children's home. Tax Alleged has since closed down. Police say there have been no further allegations of sexual abuse by Barry Bunnell at the children's home. They also say they found no evidence of a cover-up at the football clubs he was linked with.